fix this RV it's leaking you can see we've been ripping the ceiling out it was leaking really bad up here this was just drenched with water up here and uh, so we're ripping all this out we can't figure out where the leak is coming from but in any case this was so water damaged that it was just drenched and uh, kind of falling apart so what we're doing here is we're taking the ceiling out and uh, let's see all along here at least to that seam, I suspect it might be coming through this air conditioner, or it could be coming through the seam here. It's not obvious though. I I looked. I cannot tell where it's coming from. We'll fix it, and then uh, we're going to put all this back. Probably replace this with either wainscoting, tongue and groove, or Luan or something, because this existing ceiling is pretty ugly anyway. We're fixing it up, cherry it out, so you can bring some girls up here or something. I found a leak right here. You see they put some goop through there, which I pulled out of there, but uh, um, even with a tarp on there, it's still leaking. So what they should have done was fix this hole, and they didn't. They just poured goop in the hole. And uh, so that's the cause of the problem right there. So, well, if it would stop raining, at least a little bit, I can, uh, I got some roof repair tape, and I'm hoping to at least stop that leak. I'll probably have to wait till I'm in Oregon, it rains all winter here, and it's raining right now, and it's going to keep raining probably for another week at least. A bucket containing the water, but still, it's a mess. I think this floor is toast, which is okay. It was pretty bad. This carpet is pretty bad shape to begin with. And I was planning on probably pulling it out, putting in a floating floor. But yeah, that's weird. There's uh, actually two layers of tarp up there, but the water's still coming in. I'm not sure why. See, it appears that the water is pooling up here, saturating that tarp, and it just, it's just leaking right through there. I didn't know that could happen, but apparently it can. So, of course, I, being who I am, I have another plan. So let's see what I'm up to now. So, yeah, I'm going to build a little tarp building up here. Seems like a good plan. We'll see. Those are about six feet long. This will make the uh, width about 12 feet. And then these, I'll use these to extend the height. This is Chris, the man who's going to benefit from Babe Magnet RV. Yeah, there you go. He's tearing the ceiling out, the rest of it. Going to tear the floor out. I'll show you what I got on going on out here. Before we do much on the inside, we got to make it dry. So check this out. Here's what I got. 30 foot by 12 foot. And I bought these, uh, see I think I mentioned it, these things at a local hardware store called the Blackbird, Medford, Oregon. So I don't know where you can get them. You can, well you can buy them online of course. But uh, each one of those locally at least is around six and a half dollars I think. Depending, you know, different prices, but that's around six something. And these uh, one inch poles, this is one inch electrical conduit. Those are uh, about six, six fifty each at Home Depot. And then what you're supposed to do is uh, cut these in half. So you would use nine con pieces of conduit for a 10 by 10 if you cut these exactly in half, but I wanted it a little wider. So I cut these at uh, 
six inches or six feet each. So it's a little less than 12 inches, uh, 12 feet wide. Now what I'm going to do is these are the pieces I cut off. These I'm going to cut and I'm not sure what I'll do with the, the pieces. I'll find something good to do with them. I bet on that. But anyway, I'm going to cut one in, one foot off of each one of these. And then I will have um, eight three foot sections that I'll use for some future project. But I could, you know, I could use one and cut it. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm cutting eight one, one foot pieces. And they're going to go under here. They get put together with these. I think that'll be sturdy enough. You know, if not, I will come up with something different. And then I have these stakes left over from when I did my house. Concrete. These are concrete stakes. They're great tent stakes. But I'm going to use these. Pound one in for each pole. And then clamp them together with hose clamps. So that's the project going on right now. And we'll... See what it looks like when I got all these up on their little stilts. And that's how I put these together. One foot extender on there. Concrete warm pin. Normally used for concrete corns. Those clamp together. I'm going to lay the uh, tarp out, and then we're going to put it up. Right about this time, um, I ended up going to Puerto Rico for two weeks. And I'm actually editing this uh, shortly after Hurricane Maria devastated the island, and I, I feel so terrible. Everybody there was so nice. The place was so beautiful. Uh, it's just it's just a terrible terrible thing to see that um, my heart really goes out to the people of Puerto Rico and uh, they really need and deserve all the help that they can possibly get but um, anyway to get back to the story at hand here um, when I got back from Puerto Rico I discovered there had been a big storm while I was gone and Ed had uh, pretty much uh, done a number on my little tarp building so back to the real world well that looks like a good stopping point next week um, i will be fixing the tarp building doing the ceiling and the floor so uh you'll want to catch that one right well hey man thanks for watching y'all take care and we'll see you next time later